in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the Clonus de Carol Tropical Vibes Collection. Um, this collection already launched, so um, there's no like release date information to share with you guys because you can get it now. Um, you can use my code Polish Talk for you can use my code Polish Talk for 10% off your order. I'll have a code down below and also have it on the bottom of the screen. I don't get any money from that code. It's just a way for you guys to save some money. So all the polishes have, will have a little bit different pricing and um, the glitter crellies in the collection are going to be $11.50 each. If you want just the crelly itself without any glitter, those are going to be $10.50 each. Um, and then there's a glitter topper in the collection that's going to be $11.50 or you can get the whole 12 piece collection. This is the big one for $130. So um, overall, I love this collection, you guys. It really does give me like the tropical vibes. I um, could picture myself like in Hawaii on the beach, getting a tan, um, drinking a margarita, even though I don't drink, <laughs> um, just like living my best life with these polishes on. And so let's get started talking about the collection. So first polish in the collection I wanna share with you guys is gonna be called Palm Tree. Look at this color. Ugh to die for. This is a clover green crelly with black glitters and diamond flakes. So um, Carolina did want me to mention and everybody reviewing the collection to mention that it's not packed with glitter. The glitter is a little more sparse so that it doesn't like overpower the polish and I definitely agree with her. I feel like the glitter was sparse in these and then these like diamond flakes that are in there sort of give this polish is like a really interesting um, like when you move your hands around you get some like interesting shimmer which I did enjoy. So this one, um, I got it. So when I took stuff out of the PR package, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I love these type of greens. Um, it's sort of like a neon, but not, and it sort of has like a touch of like turquoise, which I really enjoyed. I thought it was beautiful on my skin tone. If you're my skin tone or darker, you're gonna like love this polish. Uh, great formula for being bright. I did do three coats just because my nails are longer now and I am getting really close up on the nail for swatch pictures. But I think if you weren't taking swatch pictures and your nails are a little shorter, you could probably get away with two coats. Um, the coats go on really nice and smooth. The glitter comes out really nice and smooth. Um, sometimes the flakies do want to kind of come off the edge of the nail, but you can just kind of like, you know, do that a little bit <laughs> and push them back down. But um, I do want to mention that because that did happen with a few of them. But it's not any like big deal breaker for me. It shouldn't be any big deal breaker for anybody, honestly. But, you know, just to know I wear but gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous polish. I actually timed it to where I swatched this so that I could wear it. And then I ended up wearing it like multiple days because I was obsessed. And then I got like tons of compliments on it. And um, just, it's gorgeous, you guys. Perfect for summer. If you have similar polish taste to me, you guys will love this. And again, this one was called Palm Tree. Next polish in the collection is going to be called Dolphin Kisses. Again, you guys, look at this polish. This is a cyan blue curly with black glitters and diamond flakes. Um, this is really gorgeous. I... This is really gorgeous. I could have worn this as well. Um, when I put it on, I was like, OMG. Um, again, if you're my skin toner deeper, this is really going to pop. Perfect for summer. Um, if you do wear stuff besides creams on your toes, I never do. This is, would be a beautiful pedicure. Um, just gorgeous, you guys. Uh, again, three coats on this for me for swatching, but I think if you were not taking swatch pictures, you could possibly get away with two coats on shorter nails. Um, great formula. Everything goes on really nice and smooth. You get some nice glitter payoff. Um, beautiful, beautiful polish. Um, the name Dolphin Kisses, though. I... <laughs> So are any of you guys like one of those people like I want to swim with the dolphins? Like have you seen the movie? Um, oh my gosh, it has Adam Sandler and it has, oh gosh, what's that girl's name? The one from Friends. Oh, like my brain is gone. Um, Jennifer Aniston. So anyway, the little boy in the movie, they pretend they're 
married or used to be married and he pretends her kids are his kids to impress the supermodel girlfriend <laughs> and the little boy's obsessed with swimming with the dolphins um i would never want to swim with dolphins like ever in my life because i feel like if you're swimming in the dolphin pool like you're you're swimming with dolphin pee and poop am i weird tell me I'm, tell me if that's weird because i would be like mm, yeah no i'm good like even in a regular pool like i'm still like mm -hmm. i mean i'll get in but i'm like no i'm all right I'm, I'm i could i could go okay without swimming in a pool like i prefer to sit on the side of the pool and get sun <laughs> But yeah, dolphin kisses. I had those like kind of like, mm, yeah, no, not a fan. Don't want to kiss dolphins. Don't want to swim with dolphins. Don't want to do anything with the dolphins. I mean, I'll watch dolphins, but that's about as far as it's going to go. So anyway, beautiful polish. Sorry about my rant. But I was really like, do people want to kiss dolphins or swim with dolphins? I know there's people that do. Next polish in the collection is going to be this one. It's called Coral Reef, and this is really beautiful as well. Um, this is described as a poppy pink curly with black glitters and diamond flakes. So this is more of a peach, and then there is going to be a pink in the collection, so I want to show you those side by side. This is Coral Reef, and then this one is called Watermelon King, which is more of the pink. So they are not dupes. They are similar. I mean, for me, I would need both, but you know, some you guys do what you need to do um this is gorgeous great formula three coats to get opaque for me again for the swatch pictures i do think you could get away with two on shorter nails everything goes on really nice and smooth really great formula with this again if you're my skin toner deeper i think you're gonna love this color sometimes corals can be hard to pull off if they're not bright enough for me personally this is bright enough that it's very very flattering um just gorgeous gorgeous polish you guys Next up is going to be Beach Bum, this color, oh my gosh. This is described as a plum curly with black glitters and diamond flakes. So this sort of like is a neonish purple. Um, I really like this color. I wore this one as well. Um, <laughs> I kind of timed it so that I could wear something for a few days and this was it and it was so beautiful. If you were my skin toner darker, you're going to get tons of pop off the nail. I feel like this is a shade that would be flattering to all skin tones though. Like I've never seen this color look bad on anybody's skin. Um, great pedicure color. I may try one of these on the toes just to see. Like I say, I always wear cream on the toes, but I'm like, maybe this will be the polish that like takes me out of my comfort zone. Super, super nice formula. Beautiful, beautiful color. Perfect for summer. Total vacation vibes. Um, and this one again was Beach Bum. This one is called Watermelon King. You guys know that I'm obsessed with this. Um, this is described as a bubblegum pink curly with black glitters and diamond flakes. This is like a gorgeous sort of almost neon pink. Or I feel like it is a neon pink. It's beautiful, people. Beautiful. Um, I ended up wearing this as well. I timed it so that I could wear this one for a few days. So good. Um, lots of compliments on this one. And again, I think this is perfect for the deeper tones, but this is a color again, I don't think will look bad on people. I think like a lot of people look good in pink. Great pedicure color, um, three coats to get opaque. For these being more like on the neon side, I feel like the formulas were really, really good. Um, 
like I say, if I was not swatching, I would have probably gone for two coats, but with the swatch pictures getting in really, really close, that third just kind of makes everything look a little bit better, but, oh, you stole my heart with this. This was probably my favorite of the whole 12 piece collection. So, so good. I feel like if I was a polish, this would be me. It's like sort of Barbie pink and then you get some glitter and then it's just like eye catching. Love, 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 love. If you're a pink lover, like don't sleep on this. This one is going to be Mrs. Pina and this is a banana yellow cream with black glitters and diamond flakes. So I really enjoyed the color of this polish, but I feel like the formula on this was tricky compared to the other ones I already talked about. Um, I had a hard time kind of getting this to have like an even finish. So I did want to mention that. Um, it does take three coats. And um, after the three coats in the top coat, I did enjoy the way that it looked on the nail, but I felt like it was a little bit difficult to get there. I think the diamond flakes in the lighter colors um kind of tripped me up a little bit uh, maybe other people didn't have those issues on application but i felt like it was just a little bit difficult in formula compared to the others so do keep that in mind um but really gorgeous again complements the deeper skin tones does remind me of sitting on a beach um eating some bananas or like pineapples really beautiful color and again this one was mrs pina Next one is going to be Coco Loco. This is a white curly with black glitters and diamond flakes. Um, really pretty on this one, but again, I feel like the formula on this was just a little bit difficult, like the yellow compared to the rest in the collection. I just think those diamond flakes in the really light bases um, gave me a hard time. Maybe no one else had a hard time, but I did have a little bit of a hard time. And I feel like even on three coats of this, um, it still had a little bit of like a patchy appearance on my nails. I think on shorter nails you might not have that issue, but um, yeah. So if you do pick this up, you might want to put like a white undie and then maybe do two coats of this to kind of get a little bit more of a even finish if your nails are long. So all of those are the ones that will be $11.50 because those are the um, Crelly glitters of the collection. Then what I'm going to show you next are just the Crellies, which are $10.50. And um, these are really good as well, though. So this polish is called Seashells and Sea Horses. And this is described as a light purple periwinkle crelly. So when I read the descriptions, I was a little bit scared because I thought, oh gosh, are these going to be okay? Formula on all of these was perfection. You get that sort of squishy effect on the nail, but like you get full opacity too. I don't know how she pulled that off. 
um i really really don't but so good you guys um i'm actually wearing this on my nails right now so i kind of cheated i um, wanted to wear this as an easter mammy and so i didn't do a full nail shots of um the crellies i did a skittle nail shot with the topper from the collection but this is actually on my ring finger and you guys it is gorgeous um and that's not on my thumb um, but this gets fully opaque in three coats. It's not goopy. It's not hard. Some Crowleys, when I say the word Crowleys, I'm like, oh gosh, no. These were perfect. So really, really good. Really flattering. I think this, um, again, if you're in the deeper tones, you're going to love it. Perfect for spring. It's perfect for summer. Um, really cute. Next up is going to be Paradise, and this is described as a light Tiffany blue Crelly. So good. Great formula. I'm wearing that on my middle fingers, and, um, oh, you guys, so good. You even see how long my nails are, and I get full opacity at three coats with no streaks and just no issues. I was blown away by these. I'm not going to lie. And when I kind of saw them, I was more excited about the glitter Crellies, but then when I put these on, I was like, mm, these are good. These are good. And so um, I really enjoyed this. I do feel like I do get that Tiffany's blue effect on the nail as well. Again, great for deeper tones. Um, this is a color I think will look good on several skin tones. I know there are some people who say they have a hard time with this color. Um, but if you know that you look pretty good in some teals. And then this is called Flamingo Domingo. And this is a soft flamingo pink crowley. This is so good, you guys. Um, I'm wearing this one on my pointer. It's getting kind of washed out by the camera, but it's just a very light baby pink. I think if you're deeper than I am, this is gonna like really, really be so gorgeous on you. I love it on myself. Um, but I think like if you're even deeper than I am, like, oh, it's gonna be so, so good, you guys. Three coats on this one, again, very easy to go on. Um, I'm in love. You know how I feel about pink? I'm in love. Um, and this was Flamingo Domingo. Um, then the last of the Crowleys is going to be a Sandy Toad. And this is described as a light grayish taupe Crowley. So when I got this out of the package, I was not sure how I felt because you guys know how I feel about gray. Um, and then all the other colors were bright. And I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. But oh, obsessed. I love it. Um, I feel like this is a really beautiful nude shade for my skin. Um, it has a great formula. It's very like delicate. Um, if you kind of, if you guys like wet cement from Wet n Wild, it's giving me similar feels. It's a lot lighter, but I mean, it's just perfect. Like look at that on the nail. Obsessed. Totally and completely obsessed. I feel like it's flattering. Um, again, I feel like if you're my skin tone or deeper, it's like a really good nude. I think this would look good on a lot of people. Um, so Again, this was Sandy Toes, three coats to get opaque, nice and smooth and buttery and perfect. And 
a surprise of the collection to me that I was so like obsessed with it. I put on my pinky and I was like, mm, look at you. <laughs> I can see it being worn like under a lot of toppers. I think like if you have something um, where you can't be so flashy, but then too, it's like sort of interesting. Like I think if you're wearing it, people would be like, oh, what's on your nails? Because it's just, just, I don't know, it's good. That's all I'll say, it's good. No, it's good. That's all I'll say. It's good. So all of those are going to be ten fifty, and then last I have the topper to share with you guys, and this is called Clean Shore. So if you so don't want to go for these, but you still kind of want to get the look, that glitter, um, you can get this, flicks. and then just so turn any polish you have into this um, type of look. So I'm excited to try this over some neons. I'm excited to try this over like a little bit brighter of a yellow, a yellow shade. And I'm also excited to try it over like some pretty uglies because I think that would be really pretty. So this is probably the most versatile polish of the collection, right? Because you can like transform anything with it. It's eleven fifty. Um, so I will say that the glitter payoff in this is sparse, like she said. Um, even some nails, I did go for two coats, and as you can see on the swatching and the swatch picture of this, um, some nails didn't really get the black glitter. You can even see it here, and like some kind of did get a little bit more than others but I do like the delicate look of it and I feel like these diamond flakes like really give you some beautiful um I don't know like shimmer on the nail so I'll have a video where you can see this in motion the topper and see like the the glitter diamondy effect and it's really really good so very versatile this polish and again this one was um clean shore And again, this one was um, Clean Shore. So that is all of the 12 polishes in the Tropical Vibes collection from Colotus de Carol. And um, let's pick a favorite. I really can't have one. I'm going to have two. I'm really going to settle down, but I'm going to have two. So I'm going to go with Watermelon King, which you guys already saw coming from a mile away because you know me. And then I'm also going to go with Palm Tree. Like something about this shade of green is just so fun, bright, flattering. Um, and if you guys did not know, green is the color of the season going into spring and summer. You're going to see green absolutely everywhere if you have not noticed. Um, the shade of green that's a little bit more trendy is called Kermit Green. But any green is out there, you guys. Green is the color for spring and summer. Um, and bright shades. So um, pinks like this are also very in um bright yellows are in so carolina is right on trend with these and um green green is the color so those are my two favorites and then i wanted to mention because i did not know but clotis de carol is now selling wax melts so she threw these in my pr package and um, i'm really excited to try them so this is uh sour watermelon these are hand poured soy and paraffin blend um i don't know how much they cost because i didn't check on the website but um these are really gorgeous and like she even put some little things in them so they look like watermelon seeds um smells super good i haven't burnt them yet because i wanted to talk to you guys about them but smells amazing like totally amazing 
when you guys were little would they tell you if you swallowed a seed you were gonna grow like that in your stomach because when I was little they would tell us that and I swallowed a watermelon seed one time and like I legit cried all night because I was like I'm gonna look pregnant and I'm gonna have a watermelon how are they gonna get it out and I don't think I can poop out a watermelon <laughs> and uh, yeah so very dramatic but that's that one and then she also sent over this one called spring rain and this is a soy paraffin wax melt snap bar so it kind of looks like a chocolate bar like a white chocolate bar I'm not sure what the difference between a snap bar is well I guess you can just snap off a piece of the bar and then with this it's more of like the traditional brick kind of thing that I'm used to but um this smells really good as well and um yeah like very soft and delicate this one has more like a fruity and this is more of like a soap but um, I'm excited to try these and I like just how pretty they are. Like this has some cute little like glitter in it. And um, yeah, so if you guys are wax melt fiends and candle fiends like I am, check out Colotus the Carol's new wax melts. Once I melt them, um, I'll try and talk about them in another video and let you know what I, guys, what I think about the scent and the lasting effects and all that stuff. But I was just really excited. So anyways, um, let me know if you picked any of these up because they are already available. Did anything catch your eye? Um, what are you thinking about green being the trendy color for spring? Are you in? Are you out? I actually switched out to a green purse. Um, so that is it for this video, you guys.